in your environment wow you have another queen so i am wondering if you guys it, it could mean two things now we have two queens and we have the empress as i said it, it can be in some of the situation there was like a three-party situation and of course yeah sure i can absolutely understand it that kind of situation going to say no way i'm not going to deal with that off you go and in that situation i really think this is going to be very good but it's also learning the lesson it's also learning the lesson saying to yourself well how did i find myself in this situation and why why did i tolerate this maybe you you kind of had something reasoning for it may you have been suckered in because this person is like so perfect and you really want but there is that karma that is saying well if something belongs to somebody else it's not yours what is that uh, like I mean saying if you love something let it go if it comes back to you it's yours and if it doesn't it hasn't been there in the first place so this is usually the best thing to do if you're in such tricky situations when you feel like that gnawing feeling in the stomach that something really doesn't fit because this queen of cups is clearly somebody very gentle somebody very um you know giving she's like the one who would absolutely love children maybe you're dealing with somebody who oh, i want the children want the children and maybe you don't right and there is like discrepancy you kind of finding a difficult time to kind of like explain to someone right but also queen of cups is like somebody who is saying listen to your heart you see you listen to your head and they're listening to their heart well what could go what could go wrong right with this one and you need to watch through the eyes of your soul remember how i said you know especially if you're dealing with a water sign you you really need to give them that courage you need to say they need to know that things will be different but you also need to know that you're going to have your peace of mind but not through analytical because look at this swords 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 we see this harshness over here but we also see these cups over here and this is kind of like coming with that energy so this is going to be somebody coming through with kind of like in a sensitive way and almost like in a psychic way you might be seeking a um a psychic or a medium or a tarot reading hello ketero.ca but this is the person who is trying to find consensus, who is trying to find understanding, right? So if there was like something like this in the past and you have continued in this relationship, you do have right at any given time to renegotiate things and just do it. You don't have to continue the way it is. But you can also put your foot down in a very nice and gentle and kind of way. And this is something that I would highly recommend. And your environment, the people coming toward you will be very susceptible. And keep remembering that you want the best for you, but you also want the best for them. You have to be willing to ask for both at the same time. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So just use that Queen of Swords ability to reflect it and to understand it because she is able to say, okay, my intellect is right now not helping me. Yes, I know what I would need on the paper, but let's see about the heart. And the heart also, it's not good enough if somebody is having this hanky-panky somewhere around promising you with the stuff, but it's always being delayed, it's always something else. So maybe it's kind of like time to say, look, I really love you. I really love everything you're giving to me, what you're presenting to me, because you really want to be with them and they want to be with you. But for some of you, it could be circumstances that are tricky and that need to be overcome before things move forward.